up till now we have seen that when a packet loss event occurs the timer times out and retransmission takes place but as we shall have seen that this retransmission was taking place of a packet that does not contain any literal meaning that means it's just a packet but in reality we do not use tiktok message rather we use a message or a packet that contains some value as an example if we look at an ip packet the ip packet contains source destination ip addresses and the payload when this particular packet is lost it must be retransmitted the retransmission should actually contain the same payload otherwise generating a fresh packet does not make any sense and the overall end to end transmission at the application layer is going to fail so we are going to propose a solution that is whenever transmission takes place at tech it is going to keep a copy of the packet that is just transmitted txc9.cc tiktok9 and the ini file updated are the sources for this particular module here let's look at a strategy that we devise that is how to differentiate between a fresh packet transmission and a copy transmission for that we need to create two new functions namely generate new message and send copy of and then we are going to conditionally call either of these functions or perhaps both of these functions depending upon the need both in tick and talk here you see that send copy of is called by tick for retransmission but talk just needs to generate new message because the retransmission activity so far has only been implemented on the tick side if you look at the c++ code here the upper part of the code essentially remaining the same we observe that if the timeout event occurs and this is a self message because it is the self message that is going to tell node tick that the expectation of packet from the talk side has not been met and you need to retransmit therefore tick is going to call the function send copy of and it is going to send the same message in there if the message arrives in time it means tick does not have to generate the same old copy it has to send out a fresh packet how is it going to do that the message is updated with generate new message and then this new message is sent as a send copy so essentially send copy of message is now carrying the message which has just been generated now let's look at the generate new message and the send copy of message both in detail here you can see that whenever a message is created it is created with a different name here the location of the string which is going to print out this information about the packet is 20 characters and it is identified by the name message name in the second line of code you see that we use a command sprintf sprintf is a command that prints out the arguments whatever is given in the printf command onto a memory location instead of the terminal here we see that this sprintf command is printing out two arguments onto memory location number 1 it displays the string which is the sequence number as the decimal so now we'll see the sequence numbers when tick sends out messages to talk so that a sequence number is only retransmitted which has been lost and when a successful transmission takes place then the sequence number has to be updated as well it must be incremented the send copy of code again contains the information about the packet that has already been sent and now is to be resent so in the first line of code we see that the value of copy is taken from the message and 
then on the rightmost side we see that this message is being duplicated by using the duplicate function. Here we see that there's a star that is C message space star in parentheses. What does this show? This shows that in case the value which is returned by this particular function is a void uh, pointer, that means that it has to be now cast into a known data type. So whenever this duplicate is going to return, if it returns something that the compiler does not understand, so it has to be casted to a pointer C message type. 